And John MacArthur, boy, this guy's a strange bird. And a lot of people reference him, well, he teaches so well, and he's so smart, and he writes all these books, and he uses all these big words. Surely he must be a good example of a Christian. You know, John MacArthur teaches you can take the mark of the beast and still be saved. The Antichrist establishes his rule, and in order to function in the economy of the Antichrist, you have to take the mark of the beast. Now, the question is, if you're living in the tribulation period, and you take this mark, in other words, you identify with the beast's empire, will you still be able to be redeemed? And I think the answer to that is yes. You understand how, I mean, that's so contradictory. Well, what do you have to do to take the mark of the beast? You have to worship the dragon, the devil. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You can, he says you can worship the devil and take his mark and still be saved. Now, when he says saved, he means become a Calvinist. So I'll, I'll agree. There are Calvinists that will take the mark of the beast, and John MacArthur will be leading the pack. He'll be saying, come on, guys. Let's worship Lucifer together. It'll be okay. He'll give us a second chance. Yeah, you'll get a second chance, right? It's called the second death, John MacArthur.